fellow viewers, welcome to another segment of our view on Cry Out TV. I am Chodong Gumba, your humble host. Today, we'll highlight the referendum in Ethiopia, which has granted the Sidama people the right to self-determination after a fight which lasted many decades. Let us begin by commending the efforts of the Ethiopian government and Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed, freshly minted as a Nobel Prize winner for peace. Ethiopia is the second most populous country in Africa after Nigeria, with a population upwards of 100 million. Mr. Abiy Ahmed has successfully made peace with neighboring Eritrea after years of a brutal war, which was a financial burden for both already impoverished countries and cost thousands of lives. The country has been historically troubled by ethnic clashes, unrest, war, and poverty. It practices a special form of federalism, which some have termed ethnic federalism, with nine regional states mainly carved along ethnic lines like Tigray, Afa, Amhara, Oromia, Somali, Benish, Shangul, Gumuz, Hara, Gambela, and Southern Nations Nationalities and Peoples Region, also called SNNPR, and two administrative states, Addis Ababa City Administration and Diridawa City Council. This is testimony to the country's diversity, which is also underscored by the over 100 ethnic languages spoken within its geographical confines. In the Southern Nations and Nationalities and Peoples region, SNNPR, lies the Sidama Zone, at the heart of which is the homeland of the Sidama people. The Sidama zone is rich in water resources and accounts for the majority of coffee produced in the Southern Nations and Nationalities and Peoples region, which is the top producer of coffee in Ethiopia by region. Ethiopia is Africa's top producer of coffee and a top 10 player on the world market. On November 20th, 2019, the Sidama people went to the polls for a referendum that just added a 10th autonomous region to the Ethiopian nation with its proposed capital in Hawassa. The path to this event has been thorny and challenging. The Sidama have fought for their right to no avail under the rule of the following Ethiopian presidents, Mengistu Heli Mariam, Meles Zenawi, Negaso Gidada and Jema Wolde Shojis. Today, the Sidama see better days ahead under President Sali Wok Zudei, the first female president of Ethiopia. Many have been killed, jailed, displaced, and even exiled. Finally, the wish of the close to 4 million Sidama people for greater autonomy has become reality. Buzochu Motoal, Buzochu Tasroal, Buzochu Tagalalena, Yezan Tigelutit, Fre, Yayo Batkan, Yayan Batkan. Zarel and Eli, you can. Like I'm so Baman and Natu, Yemitara Batkan Silohona, Nedas Bulunian Zari, Matiche Zari after Sata Kuno, Uncle Fetan as Chelam Jameta. The fight of the Sidama people is an extension of the millions on the African continent 
tired of corruption, nepotism, injustice, and marginalization. Rising today more than ever before, seeking to have greater control over their lives and destinies. We are by no means prescribing the Ethiopian system as a cure to the African continent's challenges. As a matter of fact, other ethnic groups in Ethiopia like the Wolaita, Hadia, Guraj, and Kifa are also seeking autonomy. There are many more challenges the country will continue to face unrelated to the country's map. What we seek to highlight here is that all efforts must be made to bring peace to the African continent. Secondly, the voice of the people must be heard loudly and clearly. Thirdly, the fight for freedom, justice and equality has never been a short or easy fight. Cameroon is one of the hot spots on the continent today. The course of the war is well established. As the war continues to ravage families, communities and the economy, one question needs to be asked with candid favor. Will the government of Cameroon ever grant the people of Southern Cameroon an opportunity to take their destiny into their hands like the Sidama people have just done? Is Paul Bia waiting for the death toll to reach a certain threshold before they consider a referendum as an option? Let's wait and see. At the end of the day, peace is cheaper than war. Our view is proposed to provide investigative reporting content aimed at presenting the truth to our viewers. If you enjoyed our show, please support us by downloading our app on Play Store and App Store and by subscribing to our YouTube channel and following our social media pages. In the near future, all our investigations will be on our app. We urge you all to download the Cry Out Radio TV app now so you don't miss our next episode. Thank you all for your time and stay tuned.